currently receiving its reveal last week at GDC 2019, the Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 has gotten some more details in terms of story progression. The newly announced sequel to the 2004 Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines by developer Paradox Interactive and Hardsuit Labs, Bloodlines 2 will focus on a new city, a story based in Seattle. While RPGs mostly depict their storylines with a day and night cycle, Bloodlines will not have this feature. In an article with Jewel Shockers, they asked creative director Martin Kayaklini about how the narrative will progress in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Although time will progress throughout the story, it will not go from day to night, explaining we didn't feel like there was enough benefit to actually supporting it. You're always there at night and you can't do anything in the day. The explanation of this seems to make sense as the story revolves around vampires who only come out at night. From this, it looks like the game will focus on a natural progression of the story, but will also continue to evolve while your character sleeps to help the flow of the game. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 will release on PlayStation 4, PC, Xbox One in Q1 of 2020. The developer Atlas finally reveals the official trailer for Persona 5 The Royal, a new RPG coming to PlayStation 4. The new trailer features a new female character that appears to be playable. The game that was originally teased as Persona 5 R has been officially announced through a new trailer as Persona 5 The Royal. Much like the teaser trailer, the new one features Tokyo's Shibuya District and a large TV screen that reveals the new logo of the game. A new female character dressed in a school uniform is teased with a few up-close shots. The previous trailer did outline that March would be a reveal of more Persona news, and it looks like this is the major reveal. The official website has been updated with the new trailer as well as some new information about the game. The trailer ends with the date of April 24th, which means more information will be unveiled next month. Persona 5 The Royale will be coming to PlayStation 4 with no release date stated as of yet. Bethesda are giving fans a chance to get the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind for free as they celebrate their 25th anniversary of the Elder Scrolls franchise. If you've ever wanted a chance to play Morrowind, now you can as Bethesda are letting you download it for free using a special code on the Bethesda application. Originally the promotion was only supposed to run for a day, but due to the traffic to the website and login issues, Bethesda have extended the offer until the end of the weekend. From now until March 31st, you can download the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition free of charge on PC. You will need to log in or sign up for a Bethesda account and then redeem the code TES25TH-Morrowind. Then the game will be added to your library. But that's not all the festivities Bethesda has planned for their quarter of a century Elder Scrolls anniversary. There are promotions for the Elder Scrolls titles and add-ons as well as additional offers in-game. The prologue quest for the upcoming expansion elsewhere are now available on Elder Scrolls Online, as well as everyone can play free starting Thursday 20th of March on all platforms. You can play Elder Scrolls Online for free from Thursday 28th of March until Wednesday 3rd of April on all platforms. Simply visit the free play page. This will give you access to the base game Morrowind chapter, letting you try out the title. You can also experience the Elsewhere prologue quest, which is part of the base game. Players can uncover the purpose of the Wrathstone tablet, which unleashes the dragons shown in the cinematic trailer for Elsewhere. If you're looking to pick up ESO now is a great time as the Elder Scrolls Online base game has gone on sale across all platforms until April 9th, as well as the Somerset chapter until April 2nd. The sci-fi themed RPG Hellpoint by publisher TinyBuild and developer Cradle Games have released a new trailer for PAX East 2019. The challenging action RPG Hellpoint has a new trailer that shows more of the combat from the dark sci-fi game. The title is set in the aftermath of a great quantum cataclysm. Players will be faced with numerous enemies testing their wits and combat skills. Features of this game include a space colony set environment, a dynamic storyline, intense action combat against deep space monsters, the ability to craft weapons, as well as develop special skills and multiplayer. Combat is punishing, which is expected from any Souls-like, where players will need to decide whether to risk more battles to gain more rewards or the possibility of losing it all. In their latest project update on Kickstarter, posted earlier this month, they share some new features added including new co-op revive mechanic, which means the host of the game can now revive co-op players. They have also added new boss weapons, describing them as so gruesome and bizarre. Other new additions include a host of weapons adding weirder catalysts, as well as more high-tech guns and cannons. While melee weapons come with a range of upgrades, guns are pre-built with a variety of elemental damages. 
The developer Laren Studios behind greatly popular strategy RPG Divinity Original Sin and its sequel Divinity Original Sin 2 have unveiled a new title Divinity Fallen Heroes featuring characters from the series. Teaming up with the Danish studio Logic Artists, they have used the Divinity Original Sin 2 engine to create a new title. Logic Artists are known for their tactical turn-based expedition series, which includes Expeditions Viking and Conquistador. Divinity Fallen Heroes will bring new tactical turn-based combat and missions where the outcome will affect your narrative options. You can also play co-op or in single player. The title also sets to bring new weapons and skills to master. The story will take place as you take on the role of commanders in the Divine Order, in charge of arresting the half-demon Milady who has stolen the Order's doomsday weapons, you'll be facing the biggest challenge yet, as you battle for global domination against the Lord of Chaos himself. But you will not be alone in your quest as you will have the former Godwoken and a not exactly reliable half-demon to assist you in saving the world. Together with your band of divinity characters, you will go on an adventure returning aboard the vessel the Lady Vengeance. The developer CD Projekt Red recently shared their financial results in a conference in which they discussed more about what E3 2019 will hold for them in terms of Cyberpunk 2077, as well as other projects. While the last E3 was quite a big milestone for the developer, as they shared their demo behind closed doors for Cyberpunk 2077 at a press conference with positive reviews from the showing. However, this year's E3 is marked as even more important for the company as they say that they have prepared a strong show and encouraged those who can attend to join E3 in June. The action RPG is set in a futuristic dystopian world has yet to have a confirmed release window with some predicting a launch of this year. However, CD Projekt Red have been fairly quiet about their release date and have simply said in their previous highlight videos, it's still coming when it's ready. The video also shared that development is far from over, leading us to believe there is still more work to be done on the game. E3 2019 will take place from June 11th until June 13th at the Los Angeles Convention Center. After a lot of hints and teasers this month, Gearbox Software finally revealed Borderlands 3 with a new trailer shown at PAX East 2019. Gearbox have been dropping a fair few hints that a big reveal was coming at PAX East 2019, tipping everyone off with a fairly big hint with yesterday's Mask of Mayhem trailer that not only featured characters from previous games but new ones as well as some hidden messages throughout, throughout the impressive 3D model trailer. The news trailer officially unveils Borderlands 3 with sharing that there will be plenty of new weapons to loot, over 1 billion to be more specific. That's a whole lot of guns! The game also features Vault Hunters, which is the role players will take on when they're out exploring the world. While many shots of the environments feature the Junker Town in the desert, there is also a glimpse at the rainforest and a city. There are also plenty of beasts and dinosaurs to fight, including giant flying insects that are waiting to attack. It also shows off some of the scrap heap creations that look like robots or even mech. But no trailer is complete without a not so necessary but greatly appreciated Rick Sack solo. It was also teased that more news was coming on April 3rd, so hopefully we get a few more details about Borderlands 3 then. According to VG247, the title is on track for a fiscal year 2020 release. If accurate, this means it will release sometime before March 31st, 2020. Publisher Deep Silver and developer Warhorse Studios have announced the Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition. The Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition will include the enhanced version of the base game, all free and paid downloadable content that has been released so far, and the upcoming of Woman's Lot, which will launch upon release. This edition will be available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on May 28th. The upcoming premium DLC A Woman's Lot will be based around the character of Teresa, which is the fourth DLC announced in the roadmap shared previously. Well that's it for the week in the wikis, please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supportive benefits, and bunny writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community, keep checking in with us for news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids, and general wiki goodness. Follow us on social media for all the latest and greatest. The more followers we get, the larger of the army of the Fexes grows.